Well, hello guys, welcome to the corner where we talk about anime, manga, and everything in between. And today, we are going to be vlogging. I know, it's been a while. I haven't even vlogged, Mark. What's been going on? You sip out my sister's vlogs. I get it. Uh, something impactful happens in, in my life. Um, things just didn't go the way I planned them. Or that was planned in the first place. Uh, my fiance ended up leaving me for another guy. And it's already almost, it's already ma married him. Before even breaking up with me. Um, it's not as bad as you may think. Because she can be easily manipulated into doing things. Which isn't a good trait. No, it's not. But it's something that's. I ended up having to deal with. I know most of you guys are going to be like, there's plenty of girls in the, uh, in the sea, go after somebody else, go do this, go do that, don't worry about it. But it's not really the point of that. Um, I'm honestly truly in love with this girl more than anything else, and it's hard to admit that this is actually going on. And there's so many things that are just wrong with the situation and the standard at hand that it just doesn't make any sense. She th there was no warnings that she was giving off or anything like that. There were some signs here and there, but nothing that could have been worked through if she was communicating with me properly. But somehow she got in her head, she couldn't communicate with me. I don't know how that got in her head. Um, I'm actually not doing well right now. But I'm going to try my best to do some videos and actually post some stuff on YouTube so I can continue on with what I need to do. Uh, if she comes back, she comes back. If she doesn't, she doesn't at this point. I know some of you guys are going to be like, don't even try to come back with it. Don't even do it, man. But if it's somebody you truly love in the first place, you just want to keep taking them back. Even if, uh, you shouldn't. I don't know exactly how to explain what I'm feeling. And I don't exactly know how to go about what's going on. And honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. I could go back home, do things back there again, but then that would mean I have to go back and, uh, Deal with the situation anyways because she went back there. I have had plenty of support for this whole thing, including her own family. And it's been very beneficial towards me. It's just I don't know. It's not that it's not enough and it's very appreciative because if it wasn't for them I They've probably done something to you for not that long ago, the end this week, but I didn't, and they've been supporting me ever since, and I'm happy about that. I'm really glad that I got with my fiance, because otherwise I wouldn't have the support system I have now. Pain is just one of those things that... I'm just going to have to deal with until she realizes what happened and what's going on. And it's fine. She had cheated on me for a month emotionally with this guy. And so on and so forth. But like I said, it's not a good situation and not a good situation for her either for what she did or uh, what she just got herself into. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get her back. I, I know it's a waste of time, but I don't know. You don't think rationally when stuff like this happens. But I don't mean to be a downer or anything like that, and stuff, but the plus side, there's a whole bunch more plus sides than negatives. It's just the negative, the one negative right now is so overwhelming as I am funny. There's not enough to balance it out at the moment. And I'm 
trying to balance it out the best I can. So if uh, you see me posting videos and stuff like that, just know I'm trying. And if I look happy, just know I'm trying. So, um, but I'm, this is probably going to be the last time you hear me talk about this for a while. But I just thought I'd post it up to let you guys know why.